Dumpster Diver, back at it again today right now. I got three videos to upload for you. But I do want to go over this right now because I realize a lot of guys are looking into palladium scrap. I heard nickel went up right now. So this right here is one of those old TVs that you basically see. But this here has a lot of palladium capacitors in it, as you can basically see here and here. I take them out with a small micro plier and what I do is that I put them in little boxes and I have a little bag section like this. These Ziploc bags are nice, so let me break this out and show you. These are the long ones. They're pretty rare, but I like how thick they are because you have to remember when you pull up these pieces, they have metal under it. And this metal under it can come up and can poke the bag. So you have to be careful. And there's a lot of palladium pieces here. Now these are the older boards that were basically used. A lot of the green boards you see are basically placed in by computers. Computers actually put the components in and it gets soldered on the other side. In fact, if I took this out right here, this one screw and just clip this part out, this whole thing would basically fly out. See, there's another, there's another screw right there and that might be the only screw, but they're all held in by these clips at the end of it, okay? So again, things like this are absolutely pretty good. Okay, but yeah, they're pretty yeah, pretty tough right there, you know. Yeah, make it always make it easier for yourself right now. I picked up one of these drills at Walmart for uh, about 20 bucks and everything like that. All right, so I'll see if you can pick one up. All right, so that's what I'm doing right now. Also, uh, when you pick stuff out, make sure you take it from the bottom. You don't want to take it from the top and then it breaks, all right? So if you can get the metal part there once you start melting you can use a magnet and take it up but there's a lot of these uh specialized uh passer pieces here right now so i'll be digging through this for a while which is good uh, also go online and make a list of what palladium what components have palladium in it so you know and print the list there right so this is a computer uh, plug-in wall charger here, right? Now most people are looking at it doesn't have much, but I have relays here that may have silver. I have this part which is copper here. I have this part here, okay? And I have an LED here, I have capacitors here. And this one here is another large capacitor. Now this white stuff is very tough to dig into. I don't know what this is called. However, this basically does insulate a lot of stuff here. So I would, Obviously, you don't want to do that, but it does retain the heat there. So it's basically very different. Now, this is the back part of it. You basically have, you have the potentiometers in here, which basically used to change it. And on the top part, you basically have the speaker and you have that. But there you look at it, what do you have? Look at that. One, two, three, and four. I got four of those nice little capacitors. And you got a fuse here. I have a feeling they threw it out because the fuse had an issue with it and that does happen but there's no point in opening it up and replacing the fuse people really don't want to do that there's no point in doing that right there okay now this has a lot of stuff you can salvage by the way okay i have the two pieces here which are the rectal and the phone piece there those actually do plug in for sound okay and that's basically connected i have a speaker here which i can actually use i have this very large very large relay part here okay the components i can use these large capacitors you solder them down out of the back end you can reuse them there some of you guys use it for coil guns and other experiments uh the other capacitors i really wouldn't use those basically i would melt these ones here these potentiometers may be expensive okay some of them may go online for like five bucks a piece i ain't paying five bucks i'll just poke these out right here and this one here is an actual push switch so you remember these ones there you just push it in yeah that's a push switch right there and these basically your dials right there and so that goes in you can hook that up to a microcontroller computer and check that out but this is an old style when i say old i mean that old that's how old it is they actually ended up using the copper pieces on that part for the all right but i wanted to make this video for you guys to show so if i the number one reason why i'm making this is if i saw this on the street i wouldn't pick it up because it has no gold in it however it does have palladium and gold and palladium is absolutely going up so as you basically see here there's a lot i can basically take right now a lot okay now don't worry about that sound that's the wind now i also have this mini uh mini tv here and i'm going to call it a mini tv because on the side of it has hdmi 
cable and then it has a monitor part there which is pretty good i haven't seen something like that in a while but i plugged it in it doesn't work however i did plug this tv in the tv worked but i don't need another tv i have to, to be honest i probably have like four tvs right now i have the 55 inch i found i have a 22 inch 24 inch a 40 inch i don't even use them so i don't need this so sadly even though this works, I'm gonna scrap it, you know? It probably has a couple components inside. This one is probably a green uh, board there that basically works, but I don't need it. I'm going to scrap it, okay? Now, another thing, I found this. It's a Venture screen, and you know, it's got the buttons on top, and look at it. It's a nice little 10-inch screen there, okay, that uses AV. All right, so this is something for a nice security camera for a store to keep in the front. Now, I haven't tested it to see if it works. I don't know if it works, but I don't need it. And I can look inside there to see it is a green board. I could take it apart or I could use it, but I, I really have no use for it. I don't need it. It's just cool. So, and again, I was just there today. Construction crew is outside. They threw it out. I picked it up. I took it up for free. So I'm going to take that apart and I'm going to take everything apart there. And I'm gonna show you guys uh, one day the amount of palladium pieces that I have collected so far. And I, I should definitely have a couple pounds of this. So I'll do that uh, one day later on and basically set that up. All right, but I did wanna show this to you guys right now, okay? This is very important. Pro Dumpster Diver out.